join kids hat family Tofu? But why so? I'm just trying to get my ball out. But see those red ants. You better be careful. Thanks, Tia. Sit. I'll tell you an interesting story. The fox and the sick lion. Once upon a time, there lived a lion in the forest. As the lion was growing old, he was unable to hunt for his food. He thought that without food, he would die of starvation. So the lion thought of a plan. He decided to lie down in the cave and pretend that he is ill. and whosoever will come to meet him will become his prey. Being the king of the jungle, the lion announced he was sick and summoned the animals to come and hear his last will. The lion put his sinful plan to practice and it started working. Poor animals didn't know about his wicked plan and fell into his trap. Many of his well-wishers got killed. One day, a fox came to visit the sick lion. The fox was clever and discovered the trick. He stood on the outside of the cave at a respectful distance and asked, How are you, sir? I am not feeling well at all. But why don't you come inside to meet me? No, thank you, sir. I notice that there are many prints of feet entering your cave, but I see no trace of any returning. Still, if I come inside, I would be a fool. And the fox saved his life and informed other animals too. So Tofu, the moral of the story is, you should never trust a fake person.
slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. What happened, Tofu? What is it that you are thinking? Yes, dear. I am not able to understand how can a person win the race if he is slow and yet steady? There is a very famous story behind this. Should I tell you that first? Sure. The Hare and the Tortoise Long ago, in a forest, a small get-together of animals was taking place. You know what? I can beat anyone in this forest. Nobody can beat me in a race. Yes, I have seen him running. I bet he can beat anyone in this forest. Suddenly, from the crowd, they hear somebody laughing. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You think you can beat me in a race? I may not disagree with you, O oh Mr. Hare. But I might not deny that I have no fear of competing with you. Oh really? So let's have a race and let's see who wins. So one fine sunny day, all the animals gathered for the race. Everybody was sure that the hare is going to be a clear-cut winner. said the hare proudly. <laughs> now let's go, old man. I'll beat you in a second. The hare runs so fast that all the things on the path go for a spin. On the other hand, the tortoise is running too, but at such a pace that even snails could pass by him easily. Suddenly, the hare stops and looks behind. Oh my lord! That tortoise is gonna take ages to reach this point. So let's just stop here and take some rest. By the time he reaches here, I would get good rest and then cover him up in a blink of a second. In the, 
In the meanwhile, the tortoise slowly and steadily reaches the point where the hare is fast asleep. He very quietly tiptoes past the hare and the hare is all ignorant of this fact. Suddenly, the hare gets up by the rows of the crowd, cheering up the tortoise. Go tortoise, go! Go tortoise! Oh my lord, how is that possible? I kept on sleeping for so long that the tortoise is about to finish the race. He runs and runs and runs. But to his disappointment, the tortoise just manages to finish the race before he could. In the story, the hare was so full of himself. He was overconfident that he would surely beat the tortoise in the race. Because he is faster than that poor being in every other way. But, but the hare underestimated the tortoise and succumbed in his own fake overconfidence. Yes, and that's why only a person who thinks calmly and is not overconfident of himself wins the race in every sphere of life. Proud people can't survive for long. Hmm. Dear, see, I got an A grade in English. I am so happy. Oh, that's really good Tofu. But hey, this was just your first step. Your finals are still to come. Better study for them too. Ha 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 ha. I already scored an A in it. Do you think I need to study more for the finals? Don't you think I can give my finals even without studying for them? Tofu, it's not good to be so proud of who you are and your achievements. One should always remain humble or else one has to suffer. Suffer? How? Come, I'll tell you a story. The Oak Tree and the Reeds An oak tree stood tall and strong near the bank of a river and close to some reeds. It was a huge tree with a huge trunk and hundreds of big strong branches. The oak tree was so proud that he used to boast openly about his strength. I am so strong and mighty. Nothing can uproot me. Nothing can destroy me. <laughs> Listening to what the oak tree was saying, the reeds couldn't resist but say, Oh, mighty oak tree, don't be so proud of your strength. Nothing in this world is immortal. Being modest is the key. <laughs> you little feeble reeds. What do you know about strength and being the strongest tree in the jungle? Making fun of those reeds, the oak tree stood there with pride when suddenly the wind started to blow. The reeds bowed their heads as the wind started getting stronger. Watching this, the oak tree said, you are so petite and weak. 
the slightest of winds make you bow your heads. How would you survive the strongest of storms? Ha 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 ha! Soon the winds turned into a hurricane and the oak tree, standing straight with pride, continued to laugh at the reeds. Oak tree, you might be big and strong, but you need not worry about us. We will bow our heads in this powerful hurricane and survive it. If you will continue standing straight, you will not be able to survive in these strong winds and break in no time. No, nothing can uproot me. I am the strongest and will continue to stand tall and never bow down no matter what. The winds got more furious and soon the hurricane took its peak. The little reeds kept their heads low and started swinging in the rhythm of the wind, thus preventing themselves from getting uprooted. But the oak tree, which stood straight and tried fighting the hurricane winds, soon broke down and fell in the river. Ah! No! This is not possible! See! We told you! You just learnt a lesson! Better to yield when it is foolish to resist than to resist stubbornly and be destroyed! And the oak tree went drifting in the water crying over his own false pride. Tia, I think I know what you want to explain to me. I will not get fooled by my own pride and I will continue to study hard. Good Tofu, now let's get back to our studies. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Heart family. Subscribe here.